All right, so what's going on YouTube? This is Alex from MotorLife.com, and today we're gonna be checking out the Fat Moto. I got some epic camera shots I'm gonna show you, so make sure you stay till that, and then I'm gonna get my final review of this at the end. So let's go ahead and get in here and check this guy out. All right, first, if you like anything you see in this video, don't forget to throw that thumbs up. It really helps. Share to another crazy biker, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. But for those who don't know what the Fat Moto is, let's go ahead and get some more information. That way we can all see what this is and where this came from. Okay, so let's check out and see actually what the Fat Moto is. Uh, and right off the bat, you can see it's sold by Walmart, and King's motorbike is the same as Gas Bike, if you guys didn't know that. But um, for the reviews here, not too many on Walmart, but 3.7. But if you go over here to Amazon, you'll see that it has 3.9 out of 5. And I read through some of these, and a lot of these are pretty good, but some of these from people that haven't even bought the bike, which it doesn't really matter at that point. So you can see that there. Um, but Walmart has it for a thousand, but if we actually go to the fat moto page on the gas bike page, you see, they have it on sale for 900 and it comes in two different versions. It comes in the all terrain and then the Rover version, um, Rover version has, you know, pretty fat tires by itself. Um, pretty decent, um, little engine. What I do like is they kind of had the uh, brake system figured out. Now, when I first started many, many moons ago, uh, figuring out disc brakes with the actual sprocket was a bit of a problem. You see, they kind of figured all this out and has it, you know, all in one. So you don't have to figure all that out. And the tincture is built into the frame. So that makes uh, things a lot easier. You don't have to worry about it slipping and going to the spokes there. So that is one thing I do like about that. For the all terrain, you can see it does have wider tires. Does, you do get two racks on the front and on the back, but everything else seems to be about the same there. Um, don't know about the brakes, but they use a you know, Lafon overhead valve, four stroke. You see the price of that there, and they have all extra parts and everything for the jack shaft, um, which one of the other things I like about it, they actually have the jack shaft built into the seat post, which I'll show you a better shot of that later on. They have all the parts here, New throttles, the throttle did break. This one did break actually uh, about a month after I got it and they even sell the wheels and a lot of swag here too. So you can see actually if you need any swag, which kind of reminds me that I have some new swag coming. So they have their swag here and you see, I wanted a high visibility shirt that actually I, you know, could be seen while I was riding and I made these, these awesome motor life shirts. So I figured you guys should be safe too. So check out the uh, link for these, that way you guys can uh, be safe and seen and uh, you know, rock a nice shirt, a couple different versions. So check that out. All right, so this one I actually got from a viewer with that other bike you saw in the last video. Um, and before I even bought one, I saw you know really mixed reviews. A lot of the reviews just say it's slow. And my first initial thought is, yes, it is definitely slow, but did a couple different mods on here on this one. Did thumb throttle, which this thumb throttle system actually bolted on. So real quick, real nice, hooks right down the carb. I will put a link in the description for that. Um, I did the governor delete mod, which I tried a couple different pieces. You can see wire actually ended up being the best option. I tried different clips, brackets to really make this arm move back and forth and prevent it from you know shutting off the carb at top speed. So wire actually turned out to be the best and there's YouTube videos on how to do that. I can put the links in the description and actually got this straight pipe made by Charles from Chaos Cruisers, Chaos Customs Garage. They make all those custom exhausts and uh, his son actually welded up this one and it does have a nice uh, kind of low rumble and then it's kind of sputters in the back and once you let off. But not a bad little bike right off the bat. And honestly, from the day I got it, uh, I kind of noticed this on the forks, which shows there's uh, moisture got in there and maybe see about upgrading the forks there. But when I got the bike, this back wheel was extremely messed up. Um, I had to pretty much completely rebuild the back wheel. And you can see I had to uh take off the brake just for now i'm waiting on new calipers and brakes to come in but i did tap out the actual hub to m6 because these bolts kept shearing off and i think that's just from you know i'm a big guy and the brakes and everything are connected to that hub but they kept shearing off so had to rebuild this entire wheel several times ended up putting a big fat tire on the back there and it does come with not an extremely huge tire but a nice I think it's right at uh, 235 front. That's what it comes with. And then I did put a bigger one on the back here. This one's 
Let me see fits. And I don't know what size the uh, ones on the all-terrain are, but they look a little bit bigger than this one with a wider rim. But not too bad. Um, actually, one of my a nice, it's one of my better bikes. It's a nice, reliable, um, gets the job done, starts up every time, has a nice pull start. Um, we're working on different uh, intakes for different carbs. Went ahead and did a nice headlight and tail light. But uh, the front brakes, they kind of went out within a month. You can hear they might squeak a little bit in the video on the right here. Uh, but once actually brakes come in, we should be able, be able to get that back in. And new, I think this 315 chain get that put on there as well but not too bad of a bike from my experiences like i said stock extremely slow i say about 25 but still you know that's fast enough to get hurt so if you're not looking for a speed demon might be a good uh option for you so i've seen people do different wide crank sets and it works out and i've seen people do different triple tree setups that actually reduce a lot of the vibrations from this clutch you can see in the video this is the main problem i have with it is this cheap clutch um it's extremely shaky from the zero to five miles an hour but once you get past you know five it has nice acceleration um it's not too bad of a bike hopefully it does well in the winter all right you can see those gusses on the frame make this nice and sturdy and that's the first thing i noticed when i did take it out for the first ride it doesn't feel like the regular felt frame because it's i mean it's a lot heavier and it's solid um now I, I have seen there's a bunch of facebook pages on here and i have seen a plate where you can put the 212 predator on there which makes a nice little screaming machine and here you can see actually that built-in jack shaft is built into the seat post there but not too bad for the price i mean the frame is definitely worth it i'd like to be able to buy this frame by itself and then use this for you know high-end two-stroke builds, but this isn't my first four-stroke either. I actually did one of the BBR ones that I got from Bikeberry, and it has the same problem. These clutches are just junk, so they sell a max torque clutch, and actually I saw one that is a manual pressure plate clutch style. I'm going to see about getting for this because I kind of miss, you know, being able to rev it up, but you guys ready? Let's go take this for a spin. I actually have some really awesome footage for you, and hopefully uh, you guys like it, so don't forget to uh, share, thumbs up, subscribe. All right, hopefully we can get a good shot here. And as always, safety first here. Uh, you're going to see what this is here in a little bit, but uh, let me see if I can get a little, of a, a little bit of a chest camera action just to show you kind of how it feels, show the acceleration. Uh, if this thing will let me here. So let's go ahead and uh, give this a shot. But this is one of the reasons why I like it, because you just hit the button, and I guarantee you in the winter, this part here, just a nice little full stroke, four stroke pull start, works pretty well. So, uh, let's go get a little ride here. And then we'll move on to the cool stuff. So you can see that shake. That is because of that clutch. That drives me crazy. Does not sound too bad. Like I said, not incredibly too fast there. Bad. All right, now let's go check out the real cool stuff. All right, so hopefully you guys can get a good shot there. Uh, if you guys like this, like I said, uh, don't forget to share, comment, and like, and subscribe here. All right, let's see if we can get a good shot here. Here's 
So I'm going to go up and around and then give you my final review. So you can see that is pretty fun. So final thoughts on the old fat moto here. All right, real quick, some pros and cons. So pro, nice package all in one. If you don't want to like, you know, uh, find the parts individually and put it all together yourself, you still have to assemble this one, but you don't have to find all the parts to make it, you know, safe and reliable. Um, and then second, this is nice, reliable engine. It does, you know, start relatively quickly, a couple pulls. I mean, I think during the winter, that's going to be great. Um, also, the frame is extremely sturdy on this, so I really like the you know the difference I can feel in between the regular felt frame and this one. Um, and also, I mean, this one's relatively quiet too, with the stock exhaust on all stock. It is not too bad. I mean, I wasn't waking up any neighbors early in the morning with the stock exhaust on. Uh, but the cons, so it is a bit expensive. Now, I mean, you can easily dump you know fifteen hundred dollars into a bike with you know nicer quality parts. But uh, being that is, but me and the previous owner both have replaced a couple different parts now. I kind of expected a little bit better quality parts on there. Um, and second, the clutch is terrible on this, which is my main complaint. And those, you know, the nice ones are expensive, but, you know, that is just a complaint I do have. Um, and, you know, like I said, stock is pretty slow, which is, you know, perfectly okay. Um, and then some, you know, in some places, this is not going to be legal. So always check with your local state, you know, local laws and everything. 
Uh, and I have seen several uh, people actually have problems with this jack shaft uh, breaking on one side. Uh, but I think with proper maintenance and taking care of those bearings and everything, keeping everything tight, it won't be a problem. Um, but yeah, no, if you guys like this, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe down below. And uh, I'll see you on the next one.